Jay's butt at home. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. You probably saw my expedition with Kevin in Bridgeport, then Chinatown. This is so good. Mmm, the sauce is like sweet. Yeah, their homemade recipe is insane. I love it so much. Rico Benes was kind enough to send me home. <laughs> Look at this guy. That's the gold dog. Huh? You, yep. you guys got a special video coming up on the vlog. I'm psyched for myself and happy I know you. Oh, of course, man. I'm, you know, happy to happy to get you something here. So hopefully this works out for you. This is an institution. Rico Benny's has been Mount Rushmore restaurant for me for years, and to be able to now do this, show what you guys can get is pretty sick. So and this worked out with an at-home kit. What you would get and what you can get if you order on Gold Belly. This video is not sponsored. Zero dollars, zero dollars have been exchanged for this video. I just love Rico Benes, and I like the idea that I can just sit slash stand in my home and eat it. Yes, sir! Mystery envelope. Ooh. A whole bunch of stickers, and the iconic sign is pins. Cooking instructions, got the bread, breaded steak, cheese, Hot Jardiner, the iconic Rico Benes red sauce. Steak, cheese. This, who you're seeing right now, this is past Sean. I now forward you to, like an email, to future Sean. Future Sean? Stefan, thanks for the beers. Defiance Brewing's promised land. Tasty. Sorry if you didn't understand that transition. In the Midwest, we drink while we cook. <laughs> I got everything out of the freezer and fridge. We're ready to go. I thawed the sauce and the cheese in the refrigerator overnight. And then I fluffed the shredded cheese to separate everything so it wasn't all stuck together. The magic sauce. Oh. <laughs> I want to dive into it. I wish it were winter. We could make it into ice blocks and skate on it. Mm. And then melt it in the springtime and drink it. This house made red gravy is the sauce. Oh. Dare we? It's good cold. Mm. We're gonna pour this into a pot and bring it to simmer. Five to 10 minutes, get the sauce to 165 Fahrenheit. We're gonna preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Stir this red sauce a bit. Remove our steaks from the bag. It is so surreal that these like flattened, tenderized pieces of steak are like in my home pre-cooked. Like the fat, this was voted the best sandwich in America by USA Today a few years back. Now Shawnee Sandwiches is making one. Just put down the sandwiches and go. Me? You can cook these from frozen or thawed, which is really nice. Oh, there it is before we heat it up. Up close and personal, that iconic breaded steak without the sauce yet. It is razor thin. So beautiful. Just making one right now. Steak's going in for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna flip it for three to five minutes, and then we're good. While we wait, I wanna try their hot jarred. Isolated before we have it on the sandwich. It looks like a damn good batch. I'm just gonna do a Spoonful here. Celery, carrots, peppers, cauliflower, olives. And <laughs> oh, I love that so much. The oil has a good thickness. It's spicy and like salty and just the right amount of oil. Mm. I don't even need a sandwich, bro. That is delightful. Let's get out our bread. Now the instructions say you can eat this bread straight from the package or you can toast it for like the ultimate zhuzh up. Of course we're toasting it. Not too much where it's just like you're eating like a crispy chip. I want like little crispy outer, soft inner. It's been 10 minutes. Let's take this out. I'm gonna flip this, but then I'm also gonna, for the four or five minutes, put this bread on. Back in she goes. Crispy, crispy. Our sauce is rearing to go. Look at that consistency. That is gorgeous. Okay, we are ready. I'm gonna bring the red sauce over here. Turn the oven off. We got our steak and our bread. 
This is gonna sound so weird, but it is so cool that it smells like the restaurant in here. The next step is a must. Dip the breaded steak in the red sauce, then the breaded steak goes on the bread first, then cheese, then jarred, then more red sauce. All right, there we go, yeah. We got some toast. Dipping this in the red sauce, the AKA the gravy. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that, like that is some thick sauce and I am here for it. I think they lay it down like literally like this so that when you close it, it kind of like U-shapes. Wow. Then the cheese. Try to do a third of this bag since we have three sandwiches. Gonna have some later. Back to the jarred. Go right on there. It's such a beautiful jardinera. I just can't even get over it. Look at that. And then more red sauce to taste. So let's just do another line or two <laughs> or three. Just a beautiful looking, right now, open face sandwich. I'm gonna to attempt to close it. Oh my God, it's working. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look at this monstros. It is just a beast. Oh my God. The Rico Bene's iconic breaded steak sandwich, but at home. There's always appetizer bites. At the restaurant, it sticks out. This went way better than I thought it was going to. I... Oh my God. Rosario. No joke. It is incredible. Oh, y'all gotta start selling kits at like Jewel. Wow. Just like at the restaurant, you get that U-shape, that double bite of the steak. So much sauce, but not too much that you're just like mushing on sauce. What the hell? It just sticks to everything. The jarred is world-class, like maybe the best jarred in Chicago. The cheese does what it has to do in this bread. I am blown away. I got that exactly how you would get it. I put it in the freezer for days. It was all frozen. God, the oil's on that jarred. It's just like world class. I could pop the leftover jarred that falls off the sandwich like popcorn. I love the way the oil from the jarred kind of mixes with the sauce. So satisfying. I love how Kevin, snack eating snacks, said this in the video that he thought this would be like an absolute stomach bomb. Like it looks like it should be. It looks more intimidating than it is. It's not as heavy as you think. And it's not like over sauce where it's like dripping everywhere. The steak is also so tender. I was scared when I first opened up the sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. It oddly eats so light. This is an all timer. The breaded steak, like the tenderized steak, is so crisp on the outside, but tender. The herbs in the sauce, it just like kicks. I have said this on the internet for years. The Chicago sandwich should be the breaded steak over the Italian beef. This is a superior sandwich. This is the one I tell you guys to get if you come here. Wow. Mm. If you don't know what Gold Belly is, they have a bunch of restaurants from all over the place everywhere. Find a way to like freeze everything and send it to you, no matter where you live. With that, and I'm just speaking from experience, somebody who has purchased Gold Bellies, it is not cheap. It is truly something like a splurge item, something if like you're never gonna come to Chicago and you can't get this, do it. Or maybe you're like from Detroit and you love Buddy's Pizza and now you live in California, you can't get it. The taste of home, right? I love what Gold Belly is doing. I just know that the average person can't spend over a hundred bucks on three sandwiches. I get that. But the way shipping facilities and the price of postage and all that stuff right now, I have a couple of hot sauces with my buddy on another channel. We have to charge $12 a hot sauce or we lose money. Like that's where we're at. So get this if it sounds intriguing. If you just wanna salivate all over your phone or computer screen, that's fine too. Oh God, it's so good. Plenty of foods in the world that old Shawnee boy would love to have but can't afford to do. We're all, we're all together on that, okay? I get it. I wonder if at the restaurant you could be like, hey Rosario, can you give me a little splash of the jarred juice on my breaded steak, my BS, my BSS? He's like, sir, please leave the restaurant. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, so good. As someone who's eaten a dozen of these in the restaurant, that ain't far off. Did I do a great job? 
Sure. I'm gonna finish the sandwich. I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Like I said, this is a Mount Rushmore restaurant for me in Chicago. My top four, what my faces would be. Rakanos, that's another one. I did that on the show recently. The Venmo, the PayPal, the Cash App. If you wanna donate to see the other Mount Rushmores, people have been asking, like, Sean, I wanna see your favorite things in the city. Enough of trying random stuff. What are the things you eat when the camera ain't rolling? I can do that. I can roll the camera when the, normally the camera ain't rolling. I can do that. This is the address if you wanna send me anything. I'm so excited to have two more of these. I'm gonna go have another beer. Continue appreciating this weird spinning rock they dropped us all on. Rico Bene's butt at home up. Rico Bene's butt at home down. Hey, if you won't mind being a little good to each other, that'd be great. I really enjoy my life. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, about to get away. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm going to be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm going to be on break. Manhattan Brewing, Manhattan, Kansas from Stefan. Tasty IPA. Oh, this beer is as good as my forehead is large. Monumental. It's really good. I love IPAs. West Coast.